Hello, React Native developers. I hope you are well. William here, recording from beautiful Zurich, Switzerland. Last week, Expo announced SDK 40, and Expo is sponsoring this video where we'll be covering some of the novelties. Now, if I had to pick a theme for this new release, I think that it would be symmetry. Symmetry because SDK version 40 contains changes that make Expo apps look and converge more and more like regular React Native apps, especially alongside with the Expo application services announcement that also happened last week. It definitely feels that the vision is not to have manage Expo app, bear Expo app, but just regular React Native apps that use Expo. And SDK version 40 is definitely a step in that direction. Let's have a look. Now, just like for SDK version 39, my main interest in SDK version 40 is about Reanimated 2, of course. This version ships the release candidate version 0, so we're getting closer and closer to a stable release of Reanimated 2. In compare to the version that was shipped in SDK 39, which was Alpha 6, it's mostly bug fixes and crashes that don't happen anymore, as well as the major breaking change, which is that you cannot anymore implicitly invoke functions that live on the JavaScript thread from the UI thread. So since the first uh, public release of Reanimated 2 to invoke from the JavaScript thread functions that live on the UI thread, we had to use run on UI. And now we need to do the same the other way around. There is a new function called run, run on GS when you want to um, invoke a function from the UI thread that lives on the JavaScript thread. So we can have a look at uh, this change in the React Native Fashion app. So the first thing I'm going to do is to upgrade my project using Expo Upgrade. So I do want to upgrade from SDK 39. And I don't need to update the app Expo app client from my simulator. So now it's installing the packages. This project has already reanimated to enable from the SDK 39. If you're interested to enable reanimated to in your own Expo project, please check out the Expo documentation on how to enabling experimental support for V2. I can only recommend you to do it. You just have to be aware that because reanimated 2 is using turbo modules, you cannot use the Chrome debugger anymore. So on Android, you will use the Hermes debugger. And for iOS, you will have to wait for the React Native version 0.6.4 to ship, so you can also use the debugger on iOS. But So that's something you need to know, but other than that, I can only uh, encourage you to use Reanimated 2. So the modules have been installed, and since this is not yet a stable release, I need to change the Reanimated 2 version here, and I'm going to use 0.6.4 release candidate version zero and run the yarn command again. Now let's start the Expo server. And here we have this uh, swiper that we implemented with Reanimated 2. And now if I swipe left or right, I need to execute a side effect to push the card. And you see, because we used to do this Implicitly, we now get an error telling us to use run on GS instead. So we're going to do just that. So you see here I have my pan gesture handler with on start, on active, on end. And this is where I execute the side effect with the on swipe function, which is not a function that lives on the UI thread, but rather on the JavaScript thread. And so we're going to wrap it into run on GS. And now if I go back to the app, I can swipe right or left nicely. And so that is the main breaking change between this new version and the version that was shipped with SDK 39. Other than that, tons of uh, bug fixes and stability improvements, which I've been uh, pretty excited about. Sometimes, you know, some of these bugs can feel very niche, but actually when they are fixed, you are so happy because 
they can make all the difference in your uh, projects. Now, another area of improvement I got to play with is related to authentication. Expo provides the odd session module in order to easily integrate with third-party login providers. And there is also an optional Expo authentication service you can use in order to integrate with some of these third-party services without having to set up your own server and as well to uh, facilitate some of the linking between these uh, third-party service provider and the Expo Manage app or your Expo Bear app. And in SDK version 40, if you want to log in using Facebook or Google, a lot of the heavy lifting has been done for us via two new modules we can use to integrate with these services. And of course, if you're integrating with third-party login services on iOS, you also need to integrate with Apple Sign-In and Expo also provides a module for that. This module is actually featured on the VS Inder app made by Ben Awad. Now let's talk about notifications. There used to be an API that managed apps could use to send and receive notifications, which is now deprecated in, fa in favor of Expo notifications, which is a unified way to deal with not notifications for any Expo apps. And just like for the authentication module, Expo provides an API service that you can use and it does a lot of the heavy lifting for you, but you don't necessarily have to. It's funny because I used to implement things like uh, Google login, Facebook login, push notifications on apps which were not using Expo or uh, bare Expo apps, but that was already a while back. And to see now how easy it is to implement uh, such a feature is pretty incredible. So it's, uh, the velocity now of development is uh, quite impressive. Another interesting and somewhat related change is the availability of the Expo Consent module on bare Expo apps. Again, here Expo trying to bridge the gap between managed and bare apps. It provides a better developer experience. If you eject your app, you want things to work seamlessly. And the incentives are aligned via the uh, Expo application services. Expo has also a strong incentive to bridge the gap between the different kinds of apps there is. And it feels like the vision is that instead of having bare apps, managed apps, React Native apps, you just have React Native apps that use Expo. And I find this vision to be quite exciting. There are, of course, uh, much more improvements and features part of this new version. So make sure to check out the official announcement on the Expo blog. Regarding Expo application services, you can be sure that as soon as Johnny and I can get back to the studio, we will uh, discuss it. And until next time, I hope that you will upgrade your um, projects to Expo SDK 40. Let me know uh, which new features have been meaningful to you. Also, let me know about your experience with Reanimated 2 and if you are upgrading already to Reanimated 2. Guys, I'm looking forward to talk to you soon and until next time, happy hacking.